Hey everyone, so just got home from work and kind of really excited. A couple videos ago, I said that I was going to do like a surprise. I don't even remember what I said. Anyways, it's time. Okay, I literally am doing this with you. I've never done this before. I even left everything in the packaging um, because I have no clue what's going to happen. Okay, so this is what we're doing. I love baking shows. I just got done watching, I think it's called Zumbo's Just Desserts. It was okay. The baking was really cool, but the show itself could use some work, uh, my opinion. Um, and now I'm also watching, it's called The Great British Baking Show. I actually am really enjoying it. Um, you know, the, the, the contestants aren't pompous and they're supporting each other and they're helping each other. And, and that's the kind of stuff I like. I don't like pompous asses. So, moving on. While watching those shows, the whole reason I told you that was I was watching them doing some piping and I was like, ooh, I want to try that with painting. So that's what we're going to do. So I've bought these disposable decorating bags. Ooh, I also found this. It's a double color squeeze bottle. Probably won't use it today. We'll use it in the future though. Um, oh, and with this, we're actually going to open it real quick. Um, so this double color squeeze bottle, you can actually change the tip on it. And so we might be able to do some cool stuff with that later. Okay. That's going to be for a later project though. Okay. I got this large coupler. I think I was supposed to have it. So I went ahead and got it. Really have no idea what this stuff is for. Um, and then I have these, they are flower tips. Um, so we are going to see what happens. I'm still trying to work out in my head how I'm going to hold the bag, pour the paint, and not have it leak out. I still haven't gotten that far yet. Again, this is experiment. All of us together. So as you can see, my canvas is quite small. Um, I don't want to take a chance of completely demolishing a large canvas. So we are starting out small. Um, this canvas does have a partner, so if this works, then um, we'll do the partner canvas. Okay, so I'm trying to remember how this goes. All right, so I think we do this. And yes, as you can tell, I'm not a baker. I love to cook and I love to bake, but I am definitely not a baker. Um, I make cookies. That's what I do. I make cookies, but I don't decorate them. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to do this, just like this, and then cut it. So we're gonna cut that right there. Oh, we're getting, I guess we need to cut it a little bit more, huh? Okay, we're gonna cut it right there. If y'all are, some of y'all are bakers, you're probably going, oh no, you're messing it up, that's terrible. Okay, so I think this is how we do it. We're gonna kind of push this through. I have no clue. Um, I think that's right. Is that right? I think that's right. Because then this goes on there. And then that goes on there. So. No, I think I messed something up. Oh, wait. I know. I know what I did. I know what I did. I think I, I, think I know what I did. Let me rephrase that. Okay. Um. Y'all are going to leave me so many comments on how to do this. Um, okay. I think we cut a little bit more. And then we feed this through. And fold over. I probably should have read the instructions. I don't know. I'll do that part later. We're just going to go with the way I did it the first time. Again, this is a test and it's painting and it's not baking. So we are going to do it this way. Just like that. Okay. And then I guess we are going to start with... Ooh, let's do this one. Let's do that cap. I don't know if y'all can see that. See the holes? There we go. We're going to use that cap instead of that one. We'll try this one next. I kind of want to see what happens with all the holes. So the go to colors today are the colors that even whenever they're terrible, they still look good together. 
Um, you can see them off there in the distance. We've got Blue Eyes Pearl. Uh, brilliant Blue. Brilliant, brilliant Blue. Uh, metallic Peacock Teal, one of my favorites. And uh, Ocean Breeze. Oh, wow. Ocean Breeze. Okay. So those are the colors for today. I do that. I show you all the paint colors for two reasons. One, so you know what paint I'm using if you want to try and recreate it yourself. And two, so I know what paint I use if I need to recreate it. So that's, that's why I do that. One of these days I'll remember to write these down and actually keep a log and numbers and I haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, so this is our setup. This is what we got. Don't know if it's right. Uh, we're going to find out pretty soon. We are using that cake or that tip. I think that's what it's called. Tip. Yeah, flower tips. So that's what we're going to use. And um, we have our regular mixture, Floetrol, water, pigment, and we are going to do some silicone. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay. Different amounts of silicone in each one. We're going to see what happens. Uh, still trying to run through my head how I'm going to pour this in without spilling it everywhere. Okay, so we are going to do this. Don't know if this is going to work. So what I'm doing is I'm twisting. How did that happen? Oh, I have paint over here. I laid it in. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We are twisting. And we are going to have to hold that twist while we pour in the paint. Um, actually, you know what? Scratch that. Scratch that. We got a cup. But somehow we got to hold this paint. We got a cup. We've got tape. I'm, I'm seriously winging it. Can you tell? I'm seriously winging it. Um, you know, I normally... Um, I don't post all of my videos. Um, I might just post this one, whether it works or not. Just so you guys can see. And then maybe y'all can do it correctly and then tell me how you did it. That'd be awesome if I seriously jacked this up. Okay, so we've got tape, blue painter's tape, we've put over the tip to help with keeping the paint in. We'll see if that works. Um, we are putting this in a cup to help hold it. I'm actually gonna move this out of the way for right now so you guys can see. And from there, we are gonna pour our paint. So let's go with, Uh, we're going to do it like this. So we are going to do a little bit of, a little bit of turquoise. Ooh. Um, oh, we're just going to go straight in the middle. Kind of like we would do a dirty pour. A little bit of blue. Or a light ice blue. I think that's what that one is, ice blue. And we're gonna go with this blue. And some of this. We don't have any leakage yet, so we're doing good on that. And here. And here. There, and there. Okay, so we've got the colors in. I want to leave some of the colors in here just in case this actually, actually works and we can use it for the other canvas. Okay, so we have that part done. Now here comes the tricky part. So we are going to do this. I really don't know how much time we're going to have. So I'm going to tighten this down. I'm going to do this so I can actually flip it over 
and pull off that piece. That actually worked. Okay, we ready to paint? All right, here we go. Okay, and I just flipped it back up in my hand this way. And we are gonna tilt just a little bit. kind of hard to do with one hand. Pretty sure my arm is in the way. I am taking this. Okay, so I've taken my cup that I originally started and I just kind of put it in there and put it off to the side. And I kind of lean it up against something so it doesn't fall over so I can use both hands. There we go. That's better. Okay. Well, that's what we got from that one. There was a couple other uh, tips that I want to get. One of them, one of them was like that big. And it was literally just a really thin straight edge just like this that had teeth marks on it that I think would be cool that if we started pouring and then drag those teeth through it, guess what my next purchase is. Okay, so we did that with that one. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Not bad for a first try. We're kind of losing some of that, this coloring up here. So we're gonna do this. What? All right, that kind of worked. Okay, so now that this paint, okay, less than I've learned so far. Um, once you put it in there, you need to use all of it because having to flip it and all that kind of stuff, we're just we're just getting a blend of the same colors. So that's lesson one so far. Other than this actually gives you pretty good control of your paint. Okay, so that's lesson one. Um, I can use it for touch-ups and that kind of stuff. Blended paint is actually not a bad thing. If I have a lot of extra blended paint just like that, I'll put it in a cup and save it and literally use it as one color. There's no reason to throw it away. I mean, paint's paint. You can always use it for something else. So, okay, it looks like this one's done. We are gonna torch it real quick. Not a whole lot of uh, cells. I think the way we're pouring it through um, might make it different. I'm not sure. some cells show up there. There we go. Now they're reacting. Whew, we reacted all the way to the white. Okay, we're gonna leave that one like that. Honestly, I didn't think this was gonna work that well, and so I did not prep the other canvas. That's okay, we can still use it. So instead of having my 
um, push pins on the bottom of it. We're just going to use my triangles. Oop, sorry, triangle stuck to the table. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so this is the other one, completely unfinished. And um, I should have enough paint left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another cup to pour all this excess in. Okay. And see, that's a really pretty color that can be used for something else. Um, so definitely, definitely can save that and use it for something else. Does not have to be used today. Okay, we are going to switch out tips. If I can find them, still a hot mess. Okay, we are going to go with this one. You can see it, the tip on the inside. So we're going to go with this one. So we're going to pop that tip out and put this one in. Okay, here we are. All set. I'm going to clean it off so we can put some tape on it. kind of messy. Okay, I'm going to put tape on it to protect it. Or not protect it. Um, yeah, to keep it from leaking out because that's what tape helps do. Seals. Okay, so going back into our little cup over here and let's pour. We are going to start with this one, and let's go to this one. Whoa! Okay. I'm trying to make it hit the side of the bag, except for when I miss the bag completely. There, let's go there, there, and here. Okay, let's see what we get. How did I get gold in there? Why does it look like there's actually gold in there? That's weird. Okay, are we ready? I really don't want to move the paint too much in here. There's got to be an easier way to do this. Okay. I'm going to get rid of some of that mix first. All right. Move cup. Okay, let's go. That tip is more fun. Note to self. Oddly shaped tips. Those tips, more fun. Okay. Let's let that settle for a second. We're going to go ahead and hit it with an air gun. I don't know if I can sell this as a set because they look nothing alike. But that's okay. Let's see what we get. 
really don't want to move this too much. You know what? I'm crazy. Earlier on the other one, I kept thinking that it was the white paint coming through. And it's actually this ice blue that's so light it looks white. And, um, yeah. that there and you're gonna put that right there okay I'm actually gonna take our runoff from the last one and run this corner over here because I didn't prep it this is why you should always prep your canvases from getting breakthrough down to the canvas or the MDF. Um, so, okay, we can make it look like it's supposed to be there. Okay, well, this has been an adventure, and um, now I want to go out and buy like a huge baking tip set. Um, so my thoughts on this is I think this could actually be something that's very, very unique and will give you some unique, um, designs. Um, but I think the bigger the baking tip, the better. So if I, I'm going to find a, a bigger size than this. These are 16 inch bags. Um, that's what they're called anyways. And this was a coupler that I knew was gonna fit these tips. So I will probably look for a little bit bigger, larger coupler, larger tips. Um, unfortunately, I mean, when I got them, they don't have a size on them. So, these are the tips that I got. I don't know if you can read what that says. I'm going to try and find a little bit bigger. Probably just go to Amazon. Um, I am going to get that large, large um, tip that I saw. Um, and the coupler for that one to make it fit. But um, it's interesting what tip did what. So, I'm taking my bag apart. I don't know if you can see this right now. Um, try and clean those off. These were disposable bags. I'm probably not going to try and salvage them. Um, I'll probably just throw them away. I will probably get some silicone uh, reusable bags that don't have to be thrown away. <laughs> okay. So, it's interesting what tip did what. Um, the thicker one, the one that's in front of the camera right now, was done with, um, this tip. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. It's done with that tip. It is actually this canvas. Um, and then you can see the difference from that one to the other one that we did, which was, this was the first one that we did and yeah you can see it off there in the distance and that one was done with this tip that has all the holes so the big difference between the two um, I guess the, the size of the hole definitely makes a difference in what kind of cell action you're gonna get um, we also still have this one but just by looking at this tip, 
I think this one would give us more of this kind of a design than that one because it's it's so much more open. Um, hopefully I'll have some more of these videos coming soon. Um, I'm going to get some more tips and some more couplers and all that kind of stuff and really just kind of play around with it. Now what's probably going to happen with these is I'm starting to do my silhouettes. And so because these are more ocean colors, there's a good chance that I'm going to do a silhouette painting on these. If I do that, then I'll, I'll bring these out, remind you where I did this painting, and then show you how I do the silhouettes. Um, I think that would be good because these are a good size for like a little girl's room. And, uh, and so that's probably what I'm going to do once they dry. I'll seal them and then I will do a uh, silhouette painting on them. So that's it. So I will go ahead and bring you down. Um, I really should have prepped this one, but that's okay. Okay, let me go ahead and bring you down. Okay, just a reminder, this one was done with this tip. Okay. So, see the sides here? I'm going to have to touch those up and we're done. But this one gives us much... Not even really uniform cells, very, very broken cells, which makes it look very, very watery, very oceany. Um, so I, I like the way it looks. Very different. Okay, and then we have this one. This one was done with this tip. And it's much more fluid together more lacing than cells and I, I think that has everything to do with the tip itself um but now you know it is possible to paint with um oh what are these things called with the uh, decorating bags and tips you just have to kind of prep and pay attention so you don't pour paint everywhere Alrighty, thank you all for going through this experiment and this adventure with me if you like what you see please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends if you have any comments or questions or any suggestions on what i should try please let me know i'm always open to suggestions and as always god bless